Hey guys, welcome back to Not My Major. This is part two on my series of how to build your very own screaming Roomba. Uh, today we're just going to be continuing on from what we were talking about in the previous video. If you haven't seen part one already, go back, look for that. I'll put a link down in the description to it. Other than that, let's just dive right back into it. Okay, so when it comes to mounting everything on the Roomba, uh, you don't really need to go crazy. I mean, the Roomba doesn't go very fast. Uh, so a little bit of tape to hold some things down. Um, and that you should be good. Uh, the most important thing I wanted to talk about here is the limit switch that I have set up right here. So the way this is all going to work with the Roomba is we have the limit switch set as close to this front bumper as possible, even to the point where it's already slightly pushed in would be good, just so that any movement of the bumper will trigger it, even if it's like triggered over here or over here. So I have stacked it up on a couple of these uh, little adhesive pads um, and I've got another one back here just to make sure it doesn't get pushed too far back when the bumper hits it. Um, but literally just one limit switch is enough. Uh, if you have more than one limit switch and you have enough expertise to kind of know how to edit the code and the circuit to take more than one, you can add, you know, several around the rim just to give, you know, a more reliable trigger. Um, but I found that if you can get this close enough to the edge, um, then you'll have a pretty reliable trigger no matter where it hits. Okay, so this part right here, the Serial MP3 player, uh, is a very interesting little module for the Arduino. Uh, it's what actually will host the files and play the sound to the speaker, uh, and it's just commanded um, straight from the Arduino. And so what you're going to need for this little Serial MP3 player is one of these little micro SD cards that you just slot into the back. Um, and you're going to put all of the mp3 files they're going to be using on this micro SD card. Uh, you don't need a 16 gigabyte one, uh, that's a bit of overkill. I mean, you're only going to be putting a couple of mp3 files on it, and um, so you can get away with, you know, four or two or really whatever you might have on hand. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up the files on this SD card because that's kind of important. Okay, so on the SD card itself, you're first going to want to create a file uh, labeled 01 and this is where you're going to put all your mp3s and so inside we have all the mp3s and um, really the most important thing to know is that you need to rename your mp3 files so that the first three digits are these numbers that are in order so you know which one is which so we have 001, 002, 003, 004, on and on and on um, anything that you put after those three numbers doesn't really matter. You can label them just as you normally would so you understand which one is which. You know, R2D2, damn it, Sheep Scream, Wilhelm Scream, all that stuff. Um, but the most important thing is that you label these so that you have these numbers which are important in the code, which I explain a little bit later. So I have it set up so that it'll take six different sound bites. Um, if you want to do more, you can do more. I'll explain a little bit later in the coding section how you can add uh, the option for more sounds. Um, but yeah, that's the basic setup you want to have on the SD card. So here's the code that runs on the Arduino that basically does everything that makes Sir Screams a lot work. Um, and the first thing I'm going to point out is that when you're setting up this code to run on your Arduino, you're going to need to include this library, the software serial.h library. Um, and if we go down here, all the rest of this code is not something you're really going to need to be concerned about. Um, here we go. So this section does pretty much everything. It's, it's what actually activates when the limit switch is hit and sends the commands to play the sound to the speaker. Um, and as I said before, I have it set up so that it um, can take six mp3 files and it will cycle randomly between them using this random number generation right here. Um, so I have it set from to generate a random number from 1 to 6. This says 1 to 7 but the way coding works it actually means 1 to 6. Um, so if you want to add more uh, files you're gonna need to first change this to be from 1 to 1 more than however many files you're gonna have. So if you wanted to do 10 files instead of 6, you're going to need to change this to be 1 to 11 instead of 1 to 7. So then going down here, each of these if statements or else if statements 
uh, is a different file that gets played depending on what number is generated by the random number generator. So if you want to add more files, then you're going to need to just copy paste one of these else if statements down here and change this number to the next number in the sequence, say 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 or however many. Um, and then this is just notation, you don't have to change it if you don't want. Uh, down here in the send command, cmd play with volume, this number right here is the number of the file corresponding to the one that we were talking about when we were setting up the SD card. So we have, if you look up here, 01020304050506. So if you added a seventh file, you're going to need to change that to 07. Uh, and then these two numbers right next to it, where it says 18 here, or 1823, 1823, those are actually the volume at which it will play. Um, and you can play around with that volume just to try to balance them because some of your MP3s might be recorded on different sources, you might get them somewhere else, and uh, they might not all be at the same volume when they're played. So you can mess around with those, try to balance everything. Um, and then another important part is this delay right here. So the delay actually um, determines how long the Arduino waits after it starts playing one of these sounds before it takes new input in. So basically, if we didn't have the delay there, every time the Roomba hit a wall, even if it was already playing a sound, it would try to play a new sound. Um, so you're going to want to set that delay to be about as long as the MP3 file that you're playing is so that every time it bumps into a new wall, it doesn't play that new sound over the one that's already playing, if that makes any sense. Uh, and these uh, delays are in milliseconds, so you'll have to keep that in mind. So this is actually only a delay of two seconds, if not 2,000 seconds. Uh, but that's basically all you need to know about the code. Um, like I said before, if you want a more comprehensive video going over exactly how all this works, drop a comment or message me. If enough people ask for it, I might consider making a video over it. Once you have all that done, the circuit is pretty much all set up and ready to go. All you gotta do is plug in your aux cord to your speaker and plug the other end into the serial MP3 player. Make sure you have your micro SD card in there, all loaded up with the files that you want. Then just give the Arduino some power Turn it on. Uh, assuming you have everything set up correctly, if you hit the bumper. God damn it! One benefit of this setup and this method of making the screaming Roomba over Michael Reeves setup um, is the fact that this Roomba is completely carrying everything that it needs to do this just on its back. And the actual cleaning function of the Roomba still works it will still actually run around, vacuum, sweep, and clean exactly as it's supposed to. And since nothing is blocking the underside, it'll go and dock itself just like it's supposed to. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.